the same pangs of birth accompany this state also please do not think that the pangs of birth accompany only the normal child birth but when the kundalini is awakened one has to pass through hard experiences till he is stabilized in that condition those are the pangs of birth in one of our verses one of the great mystics of kashmir has said that in this rebirth you have to suffer as if you are ground as floor is ground by the grinding stones and you have to suffer lightnings and thunders that means you have to face ordeals and trials through this rebirth until you reach the kingdom of hell this rebirth is just as painful as the first one it it's can be yes it is painful you can even see it in the life of christ in his childhood he had to be taken away to be hidden somewhere you can see it in the lives of all saints and prophets they had to pass lives of trials and tribulations and suffering ramakrishna for years he was considered to be mad the inner transformation was going on and he was in a state of frenzy sometimes he himself could not understand it he refused food and it seemed almost as if he was mad we can also presume the same thing in the case of maharishi raman before he was stabilized because nothing is known of that period but every great sage or great sage or prophet or mystic who was reborn had to suffer the pangs of childbirth in one form or the other that is the reason why the term rebirth has been applied it has a resemblance to the normal birth in this case the growth is of consciousness in the former case the growth is of the body and the brain but now the growth refers to the growth of consciousness from the consciousness of a cell of a small diminutive creature which is the normal consciousness of human beings it becomes an universal or a cosmic consciousness that means a tremendous expansion which is always apparent to the seer to the sage or to the mystic and that is the reason why they often said that we have vision of god because the vision is so glorious that we can only attribute it to the vision of god dear you yourself have gone through a tremendous amount of pain yes perhaps during those days i sometimes thought that it were better if i were to die at times the suffering was so great and i have the mind was so distracted that i sometimes thought that my life has been ruined it were better i were to die and that i had now no pleasure in being alive but now i say that all this suffering of 12 years was a very little or no price for the price i have gained there is no good unless there is suffering the suffering is necessary to teach suffering purifies the mind it is ease and luxury they distort the mind man has to suffer to learn but there is one well known a uh, indian mystic who says that during the course of suffering and pain and misery people take the name of god and bow on their knees before him if they were to do the same when they are in luxury when they are in happiness then there would be no affliction in the world this is exactly the case in times of war you see during the last war people went to church and there was a great revival of religion and as soon as there is luxury is plenty abundance people forget all about it and their ego is not now willing to pay the same tribute to their creator as they did formerly so sometimes a dose of suffering is necessary to put the man in his right frame of mind 